How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a full-time mid six-figure Amazon seller and in today's video we're going to be diving into Helium 10, specifically how we can find wholesale suppliers using Helium 10. This is a strategy I've been having some fun with, trying to find some more brands to add to my wholesale catalog, so I'm excited to share this strategy with you. If you're brand new to the channel, if you haven't already checked it out, there's going to be a link right down below for our completely free Amazon seller discord. Over 15,000 people in there, all kinds of great free information. Would love to see you in there, but let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so for this method to find some new wholesale suppliers, I'm gonna be using a method called the Helium 10 black box. This is a fairly standard feature within Helium 10. I'm just gonna dive in here and we'll go to kind of find some product ideas to work, maybe potentially find some brands we can work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip on all of the categories that I personally like working in. So a lot of this is, you know, bigger stuff. I don't wanna do appliances, arts and crafts. Let's go beauty. Let's throw on, mm, I don't like clothing. Let's do grocery. Let's do health and household, home and kitchen, industrial, kitchen and dining. There's lots of options in here. Here, patio and garden office products pet supplies sports and outdoors tools toys uh, let's go with that the rest of these have some you know some hiccups that are possible software we don't want to really want to be competing there for monthly revenue I want to try to find products that are kind of in a sweet spot between being you know just not great products not selling very much at all and those products that are the everyday products like we're not gonna be able to get a direct brand account with Dawn dish soap right so I want to try to find some of those small to mid-sized brands so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and filter monthly revenue from 5,000 I'm gonna go to let's say 30,000 so this will get you some fairly popular products but probably nothing that's insanely insanely high brand you know they're gonna be a difficult brand for you to get so for price I like to do 15 to 50 you can go inside or outside of that range but this is just to find like one ideal product that we can go ahead and, and say hey I like this product let's see what else this brand is selling and then we can contact the brand from there if they have a bunch of stuff we like for review count you can throw something in here I'm gonna leave it blank and then review rating I am gonna do a minimum of three stars we don't want to be selling products where the customers really don't like it you could also throw on a shipping size over here if you want to stay away from oversized stuff so I'm might throw on small standard and all the way up to small oversized let's go for that and see how many products we get so it looks like we're getting over 200 products so now we're not shipping big stuff so I am gonna go ahead and look at the advanced filters down here and this is where we're going to be able to filter out a lot of the private label products that might come up so for number of sellers I'm gonna do 3 to 15 you might or not 45 let's do 15 I wouldn't recommend going lower than this you might want to go higher in case you are happy with more competition I'm just gonna try to do 3 to 15 and then for the weight I'm gonna do a maximum of three pounds I don't like wholesaling things that are super super heavy Heavy. I've done it in the past the returns are kind of annoying you want to make sure the returns are really high if you're gonna do heavy wholesale products but that's just my personal preference I'm sure a couple of you guys are crushing it with some larger products so if that's your thing go for it so we're gonna go ahead and search for that there's all kinds of tweaks we could make in here but this is just to get rid of a lot of those private label products the really heavy stuff and it looks like we're left with over 200 products so these are gonna be products where potentially we could go ahead and contact these brands and work with these brands get wholesale pricing on these items so now we need to go ahead and click through to some of these listings and see what's going on here so I'm I'm gonna just click through the first three here so we're gonna be looking for just a couple things to make sure that this is a brand that we are willing to work with number one we need to make sure the brand is not selling it in this case it looks like Olivia garden is the brand and then I also see them down here so we're gonna to want to stay away from these guys so we'll go ahead and close out of this the trim stick let's see what we got so I see a very flat price line a very flat new offer count which means that they might be a little bit strict with who they're allowing as far as new sellers but they do have six offers on this so it's possible that they're a little bit more lenient we're gonna check and make sure that that company is not also selling it so it looks like we're looking at worldwide wholesale I'm not seeing that brand name so that's a good sign so this is telling me that this so first of all this flat price line means that this is almost definitely the map price for this brand or this particular product meaning anyone who's selling this product is not allowed to sell it cheaper than this or they'll kind of come after you but we can kind of zoom in here and see it looks like it's right around 42 or 42 45 somewhere around there is probably their map price so that's a good sign to make sure that this is a wholesale product one other thing I'm actually gonna check is the data and then I'm gonna go to buy box statistics and over here we can make sure that the sales are, are being shared between at least a couple of these sellers in this case it looks like this guy is winning a good amount of the buy box but not all of it see this person got a sale 14 hours ago this person got a sale two days ago so that's a good sign that means that sales are evenly rotating on this product the only thing I'm worried about here is that this brand might just be really hard to get an account with but I'm gonna go ahead and, and power through see if we can get an account with them so we're gonna go ahead and look up this company we'll see if we can find a website of some kind let's see is it this is it M stick it could be this company here it's possible 
Hmm, this one's a little tricky. I believe this is the brand. If that's the case, that would mean that this website here is a little bit, yeah, I think I think this is the brand. This one's tripping me up a little bit, but it looks like the brand to me. So what I would wanna do in this case is go, see, it looks like they've got some options down here. We're gonna look for a contact form of some kind, resources, see what become a member is, business opportunities, yeah. So in this case, I would just go ahead and fill in your name, your email, subject, and then in the messages, I'll actually leave a link down below for some very basic wholesale scripts that I personally use in my business when I'm reaching out to these brands to potentially work with them. So that's gonna be down there below for you guys for free if you wanna check that out. But I'm just gonna leave them a very simple message, something like, hey, I run a retail store, I'm an online retailer, whatever you wanna run with, whatever you find the most success with, I'm interested in opening up a wholesale account with your company. Can you send me a price sheet or can you put me in contact with sales? Anything you wanna do. So and then from here, we're just gonna be waiting on that response, see if they wanna work with us. But it looks like we found a decent product here. It was selling, it looks like 153 times a month. So we could take note of this product say hey I saw this product and then we can also go ahead and look at this brand so it looks like they sell a whole bunch of different types of products well maybe maybe a lot of this is not that same brand so we can go ahead and look through their other products and see if we can get some other ideas for things we'd be interested in carrying looks like a lot of their other products also have five sellers I'm not seeing a ton of crazy high sellers for this brand but it could be a good opportunity nonetheless if you add a couple of these products together you're getting 100 200 sales a month between all of these products that's nothing to scoff at right so we can see how much this one's selling looks like this one's selling 105 times a month but between the same six sellers so you'd want to come up with a good value proposition or how you can actually help out these brands and make sure that they know that you're going to be useful to them so this is something worth checking out here this m sticks now we can go ahead and see if this other product we found is another potentially good lead so right off the bat i'm looking for the brand name it is sensationals we're going to make sure that that is not matching any of the storefronts i do notice actually that this seller is all four of the listings on this one so this is probably a private label product uh, so we're going to go ahead and close out of this one let's see if we can find a couple more products here so we got this one and this one and then dove is obviously not going to be a brand we can work with so we can look and see in this case it looks like uh, this is just some kind of grocery brand we can see if the brand themselves is selling it so i'm going to go ahead and pull up the sellers over here in this case it looks like we've got this guy this guy and this so we're working with three different companies we could also go ahead and grab the brand name here and type it in see if there's any other products we'd be interested in carrying looks like they've got quite a few products so now i'm going to be looking to see how much of this is sold by amazon already so it looks like a lot is sold by Amazon, but there's also some very high ranking stuff. This is a 25 pound bag, so I'd probably stay away from that one. But it looks like there's some decently high ranking stuff that isn't being sold by Amazon. You got another very heavy bag over here. Could be worth looking into. This is 12 pounds, not quite as bad. This is more my speed right here. We've got three packs of six ounces of crackers selling for 20 bucks. So this is something that's more interesting than these big heavy bags to me. So from here, we could do the exact same thing. You just go ahead and type in Lundberg into Google, and it looks like we've got the company right here. And we're gonna do the same thing, right? We're gonna go see if they've got it on the up top here you can see if there's like a contact us button or you can scroll down to the bottom and see if there is a contact of some kind it looks like it's actually a little bit tricky to find on this one see if it's on the about us I'm actually a little confused as to where the, oh, there we go. So we've got a contact us button right here. And then we can just go ahead and submit or receive information probably. And then you just go ahead and fill in. Yeah, so we got a subcategory. Let's go business sales, something like that. Retailer, distributor, manufacturer. You could go e-commerce. So we're going to click US for e-commerce. And there we go. Now we've got a big contact form we can go ahead and fill out. And something that you might want to do, especially as you try to scale this, is to hire a virtual assistant to fill in all of these contact forms because it will take a decent amount of time to actually get through all those contact forms. And you you know, you want to be putting yourself in a place in your business where you're actually needed, you're probably not actually needed to be filling out these easy contact forms. It's probably something that's easy to outsource, but right when you're starting, you probably don't want to have someone full time doing that. But this strategy definitely works for finding potential brands we could work with. We found two brands that would be worth emailing. If you're interested in checking out Helium 10, you can use code fields 50. There's going to be a link down below as well. That'll get you 50% off your first month. Find some wholesale suppliers. See if you like the tool. In this case, it looks like if one of these brands, you know, we've been searching for what, 12 minutes, we found two brands, but you think I think if you do that over the course of the whole month, that's probably worth the 50 bucks that you would go ahead and invest to use the black box tool. I mean, one wholesale supplier pays for that a hundred times over, right? Just because of how awesome getting those very profitable wholesale suppliers is. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. This is a very fun strategy for finding those wholesale suppliers. This product could have also been something worth looking at, but I'll just go ahead and end it there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a ton of value out of it. If you did, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. That helps out my business, helps add value to my business as well. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to drop those down below. I'm always happy to answer those, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.